addressing MPs in the House of Commons. The senior Conservative warned the Prime Minister's revisited Brexit proposal still pushes the UK into potentially the worst possible situation. Sir Bill explained if MPs accepted Theresa May's deal an extension to the transitional period would be highly probable until after the next general election. The Conservative MP said, the worst possible situation we can have is for a period of years, possibly, we believe in the European Scrutiny Committee analysis which we produced a few days ago, that it would go after the next general election which is the 1st of January. 2023 an extension to the transitional period which is highly probable under the arrangements of the withdrawal agreement and article 132 we will end up by being at the mercy of our competitors they have no interest in giving us any benefits which come out of the legislative pipeline when they themselves are making the laws and we are receiving them in the most humiliating circumstances in the history of our Parliament. Never before in our entire history have we ever been legislated for by other member states. Brexit News Sir Bill Cash warns May's deal could delay Brexit until 2023. Image UK Parliament Never before in our entire history have we ever been legislated for by other member states. Sir Bill Cash And indeed. It's going to worse than that because it will be done by a number of countries who themselves have no interest other than to put us at the mercy of our competitors. That is absolutely catastrophic. That is the fundamental reason why I am voting against this withdrawal agreement tonight. Theresa May's divorce deal from the European Union will be voted on for a second time this evening. Mrs May suffered a historic defeat in the Commons the first time she tried to have her Brexit deal passed, with 432 MPs rejecting it and only 202 backing the agreement. On Monday night, Prime Minister took a flight to Strasbourg to look into whether there could be any last-minute changes to her controversial deal. After meeting with European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker, Mrs May said a series of amendments had been made. Three fresh documents were unveiled last night with the Prime Minister saying the changes should satisfy Parliament's concerns because it provides legally binding changes, such as allowing the UK to complain to an independent arbitrator and exit the backstop if the EU sought to trap it. Britain's leader also claimed the UK could unilaterally leave the backstop if talks on a future relationship broke down. Mr Juncker made it clear there will be no further negotiations on the exit deal. And if the agreement doesn't pass in the Commons tonight there will be no third chance. However, her deal has now been dealt a blow by Attorney General Geoffrey Cox after he admitted the legal risk on the Irish backstop remains unchanged.